Next year to Colorado and to one family's fight that has now been heard. At the heart of it, whether a family member should have access to experimental drugs if it's the only hope they have. Tonight, Colorado, the first in the nation to allow it, and ABC's Clayton Sandell with the bittersweet plea from a little boy for his father. It helped inspire action. Last fall, cancer took the life of Nick Auden, a married father of three. I love my dad. His time running out, Nick had wanted to try what the FDA hailed as a breakthrough drug, but medical complications disqualified him from a drug trial. He tried desperately to get it on his own. I think I can be a case study for, for this drug and, and to show how it works. The makers of the drug said no. It was horrible, it was unbearable to, know, to have them say no. This weekend, Colorado became the first state to enact a so-called right to try law, meant to cut through red tape and allow faster access to experimental drugs for people who are terminally sick. Patients should be able to try a treatment even though it hasn't been approved. Uh, if, if it's an attempt to save their life. Proponents helped sell the bill by comparing it to the Dallas Buyers Club, the movie about a real-life AIDS patient smuggling unapproved I treatments in from Mexico. They, they, they just released it for testing. But critics say Colorado's new bill is largely symbolic, a state law with no power to force action from the federal FDA or from drug makers. These bills do not put aside one nickel to help people either get to where the drugs are, pay for the drugs that they might need, or indemnify somebody who gives them the drugs if they die. That has not stopped other states from following Colorado's lead. The right to try push now gaining speed in Louisiana, Missouri, and Arizona. And I think it will hopefully change the environment. And I will be able to say to the kids when they're older that we did everything we could to try to save daddy's life. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Lone Tree, Colorado.